so this is just a short video of me pulling a V pump to bits. I mean, to be fair, uh, to put it back together is just the opposite of what I'm doing. And um, there's a few bits in there that I will just correct as I'm going through because I was doing it in a hurry and usually I do it a little differently. Um, but I'll just put some annotations or some notes as I'm doing it. So the strip down has changed. Um, I was going to show you basically an 11mm pump conversion. Um, but this is a semi ECU jobby, so I need to swap over the body and happen to have a spare body. And a little bit scoring there. It's proper shit. But, fingers crossed. The head sits on there a bit, so it doesn't really matter. I've got a couple of bodies, I might change my mind, but that's the only one I've got. So, anyway, things that need to be removed that idle screw back here sits in between them two, holds that. You need to remove the throttle arm shaft, all the bits around here. Obviously, you've got your, your main head, we'll get to that in a little while. Um, this bit here, what I do is let me just focus it. Focus. Right, you can just about see it's like a, a screwdriver head in there. And what I do is I mark it against here with a, a screwdriver so I can tell where to put it back on. Um, I usually fiddle with them later anyway, but as a good reference point, that's always best to mark the shaft before you take it off. So, as you can see, just a little mark like that, just scored it into the Thing, it's level with that, that's, that's how I mark mine, it works, for me that is. Right, so that's it off, the bolt off ready to come off, you'll find it's a wiggle off the top and then I fold them that way, like that, and just ping them off. As you can see I've just dropped a bit over here. And then you need to take this spring off, just sits in there. I can't get the bloody thing off with the left hand and the right hand. Yeah, so that spring comes off along with that. You can see that that sits under there, so just take note of that. Right, so next, there's four bolts, Allen key headed ones. Um, you loosen them off, they're 5mm Allen key. Uh, I use an Allen key and then one with a ball on. Works really well. Right, the top's loose, as you can see. Don't try and pull it off. The way I do it is I push that down with my thumb. I should bit of oomph come off there and then if you look underneath you can't quite see there's a spring that I'm hoping this is going to focus on that needs unhooking I'll show you it once it's off right so tops off it's your governor assembly gov cradle and everything that little spring there that you can see hooks on to this little bit here I'd advise keeping it on it's your hot cold start idle thing um, but yeah, I'm going to take my stops all the way down now, we've got a chance. So anyway, why not it's making a lot of noise. This comes out next. I would suggest marking it, as that sets your pre-injection as well, your starting injection when you, uh, you start the vehicle. So it's a 14 mil and then an Allen key, you just pull the whole lot out. Make sure you catch all your uh, assembly weights. And there's two washers in there as well, I'll show you it all in a sec. So right, I've took the top bits off. The uh, assembly weights. Um, governor assembly and then you've got the bit that goes through the centre there and um, make sure you don't lose that washer if not you're just screwed basically and then you've got two funny 13 mils if you come down to here on the side I'll take one out and I'll show you they've got a, a funny head on them you need to modify a 13 mil socket to fit them um, but there's one on each side and that will allow you to pull out your lever, ass lever assembly, he says, hopefully. Which sucks law, it's not popping out very easily. Right. So that allow you to pull out your lever assembly, which just be sat to the side. You can cross that out for now. See, first stupid annotation. No, whatever you want to call it. Um, rather silly doing it in a hurry as I pull out the lever assembly um, the easier way to do it and the safer way to do it is to actually loosen the head off a little bit and that allows a bit more movement and it will come out a lot easier because at the moment the return springs are pushing against it I was in a hurry which is why I done it like that to be fair and I have spare bits so if I do break something it's not the end of the world so loosen the head first because if you don't it will break 
you won't be as lucky as me. So this is the head of the pump. Um, if you're doing 11 mil conversion, the bit I'm about to take off is the bit you need off a different pump. Um, loosen off the screws. What I do is I put a bit of pressure on it. In my hand. I'll show you why in a second. And yes, I am down to the last two screws. It's Blue Peter Special. Here's one I made earlier. Right, and then you very carefully pull this out. And you should have an assembly sitting there like that. That, on this pump here, is uh, is only in there because I had to cut it off to get the fucking armour off. Your pump will not have that. Uh, but this is minus that. That is the assembly you're going to need at your 11mm pump if you want to do the conversion. For this application I don't need it though, so... It will stay. Right, now the rest of your pump, if Nate will kindly put the camera in there, you can see that the rollers in there, you can see that all the rollers and everything are uh, everywhere. Uh, it's not really the end of the world. Uh, you want to just get a pair of long nose pliers at your fingers and get them out of there and then we'll go from there. Right, so the rollers are removed. Um, all you've got now is basically uh, your roller cage in there that needs coming out and you can see the centre shaft spinning you have your little drive for the rest of the pump your little spring that's got to go in and then your rollers um, the rollers have got like a little concave washer on just about to see it with the camera and they've got to face the outside of the pump when you reassemble but we'll go through that in a minute so for my application I don't actually need this advanced bit because I'm swapping it out to a different pump uh, semi-advanced crap basically um, there's a clip there that needs flicking up and a pin in the centre then that pin comes up and you can lift out the roller assembly I'll show you in a second what it looks like so like we said that pin there slides into the advanced mechanism on the bottom so it goes through there like that see that little hole this little pin here slides in and that clips over the top of it and then what you've got you've got your shaft and your pump make sure everything's off that should quite happily pop up you should be able to remove that, and then the other side, from memory, there should be a big washer, which I will pull out by myself in a sec. Right, when you pull your centre shaft out, you'll have your washer sitting in there, like that. And you'll also have two little rubber dampers sitting underneath that, but I can't really show you at the moment. But it's really important that you don't lose this inner woodruff key. That little bugger there slides inside behind there, and it drives your, um, I forgot what you call it, like lift pump. A vein pump, that's what I'm on about. Drives your vein pump, that one in there. If you haven't got it, you can it'll fire up and then you'll just die again. It's completely pointless. Um, so there's two bolts to get that out and then I'll show you that. Right, so once you've got the two screws undone, this bit here comes out. It's just a plate that goes over the top. Noted the third one goes towards the top of the pump. This is your second plate. And that sits in the centre. Now this is your vein pump. As I've said before in previous videos, you want them to be nice and loose, moving on by your hand. Um, that. So a um, few things to mention now the video is over is that the advanced mechanism I would normally loosen off before I remove the pin for where the rollers sit in. Uh, it makes moving it on and off easier. The reason I didn't on this one is because it's a semi ECU control pump. Um, I wasn't interested in caring about any of that bottom bit. So that all got left in the pump. Uh, the standard time you would loosen it off. And that would give you a bit more um, a bit more leverage and I would also leave it loose that uh, lever assembly loose while you're putting the pin back in when you're building it uh, it would just make life so much easier for you and um, yeah that's it I, uh, I hope the video has been some help as always like and subscribe and if you keep watching I'll keep them coming